Hi everyone and welcome back to Allbound. So with the new release of Early Access, I thought it was about time for a new series. So we're going to have, go ahead and head into the Citadel. I'm going to go and open up a new world. So what we're going to do is we're going to go onto a custom seed that I have found, which I think will be pretty good for this series. So we're going to head over and jump on the airship. I'm going to head over to that new world and we're going to get started. So our first goal is going to be to get automation unlocked as soon as possible. So we're going to run through the best way to do that. So as we arrive here in our new world, you can see why I do like the look of this seed. Got a nice big open area down there. Lots of ore nodes as well. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to head down and get our base set up. We're going to gather as much loose wood as we can on our way down. Just so we can get a nice little platform set up for our base. So we arrived at our perfect spot. And as you can see, we've got plenty of coal ore nodes. We've got some iron and we've also got some copper. Now I'm thinking of building our base around about over here. So we're going to try and find our way over that way if we can as safely as possible. I'm going to try and get some foundations down and set up. Okay, so now we made it over here for a nice little base setup. What we're going to do is we're going to pop our King's Quest board down, which does enable some need some wood and some stone. So we'll just quickly grab the resources we need for that. And we're going to get that down and then we're also going to get ourselves an axe crafted so we can chop down all of these trees, which will not only give us wood, but it will clear us some space as well. Just going to get rid of that ball. So now we can get our King's Quest board down and situated where we want it. So they'll be fine for now. So to get ourselves a decent amount of money to start with, we're going to go through the beginning quest line, which is pretty simple and easy to do. But first of all, what we need to do is we need to get ourselves an upgrade station so we can go ahead and build ourselves an axe. So we need some more wood and stone for that. So I'm going to go ahead and just venture around, grab all the loose stone and wood we can. Okay, so we've got all the necessary wood and stone for our upgrade station. So we're going to get that down and we're going to get an axe crafted so we can go ahead and get rid of all of these trees, make a nice big space for our base. So what we need is some more wood and stone. Luckily, we've got enough. So we will go ahead and craft one of those. So we're just going to drag that to our hotbar and then basically we're just going to spend a little bit of time gathering all the wood possible and clearing out some space. Okay, so once you've cleared out um, enough room for your base, it's probably best to next craft yourself a stone pickaxe because we are going to need one of those. So we'll get one of those crafted and then from there we kind of want to, as I said before, go through the beginning quest line. Now this will give us a fair bit of gold to unlock a little bit more extra in the research tree. So what we're going to do is quickly go through these. We can already complete this one and uh, we do need to put some foundations down to complete this one and then we've already crafted a stone pickaxe and we are going to need some coal ore and some iron ore but lucky enough we are fairly close to those so we're going to go ahead and do that and also we will need some extra iron ore as well for the research station and the king's market so i would say you want about um, a stack or two of iron ore so luckily we've got an iron ore node just down here so what we can do is equip our pickaxe and we can go ahead and mine some iron ore from here as I said, you probably want about two stacks, which shouldn't take too long to get, but that should be plenty to get you started. But now we have our couple of stacks of iron ore. What we're going to do next is we're going to build the research station. Now we're going to get that placed down just here for now. We will end up moving everything around as and when we kind of get set up properly. But if we open up the research station, what we are aiming for straight away is the automation three. So that will allow us to automate the ore gathering and then transferring it into ingots as well. So as you can see, we need quite a bit of money for that, which is why it's ideal to go ahead and get these starter quests done because that should all give you enough coin and also some bonus resources as well. And then after that, our main goal would be going for Automation 4, which as you can see takes 75,000 gold coins, which is quite a lot. But the resources we need for starting out on Automation, we are going to need roughly about 600 iron ingots altogether and we need 300 copper ingots and then around about 300 wood so in regards to wood we are doing pretty well obviously we need to build some foundations so hopefully we can kind of keep ourselves around the 300 threshold when we are finished so you don't want to go too mad on that 
But as I said, we're going to go ahead and get these simple tasks done for the beginner. So we can go ahead and complete this iron ore one because we have done that. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get some coal ore. We're going to get our foundations put down as well. And then we just need to build the king's market, which will allow us to sell resources and make ourselves a little bit of extra money. So we're going to go ahead and we'll do that first of all. That will also take some more wood. So we probably will have to go ahead and gather some more wood at some point. So from here, let's go ahead and get our foundations down. Now, a mistake that I normally make, I like to go for the large wooden foundations just because it saves a little bit of time building your base. But this won't actually count towards your quest. So you just want the one by one foundations. So we're going to go ahead and get these placed down and start making some sort of base. Okay, so so far I've just built the 12 necessary foundations just to complete the quest line. We're not going to be too worried about making too much of a big base at the moment because things will start getting a little bit messy when we get to automation. So there's no point in doing it all now that I found because we end up just repeating the process later on. So we can get these two quests done and now we just need to find some coal ore which we're going to need for smelting anyway. So that's not too much of an issue to get those acquired but we are going to need some gold coin here for the automation just because that unlocks the smelter and also allows us to get the ingots that we require so we might as well go ahead and unlock that already so that's pretty good and then we will need some smelters so i'm going to go ahead and get those which also take coal ore to build as well and some stone so we're going to go ahead and get a couple of stacks of coal ore now if you do come across any of these goblins i do advise trying to obviously get rid of them but then when you're looting their body they also have cold coins and they also have some food as well to keep you alive more importantly they have the orc skulls now you want to kind of collect them because they are needed to complete a quest a little bit later on so it's always worth just grabbing those as and when you can so now we have gathered enough coal what we can do is go ahead and complete some more of these quests uh, we are always just getting attacked by a goblin then i can hear one somewhere ah he's under here to join our foundation so we'll just get rid of him very quickly and we're going to go ahead and complete this one and next we need to build a smelter so we need to unlock the smelter um something i did forget to mention that i do highly recommend doing as quickly as possible is also building a bed because a bed will basically allow you to set your spawn point otherwise you'll end up spawning if you haven't got one of these you end up spawning back at the spawn point where the airship dropped you off now they have changed the recipe from the demo so it does require five boar hide now so we need to go and venture out and find some boars so with how with our boar hide all gathered up we can get our bed down we've got another couple of goblins attacking our foundation so we're just gonna get rid of those and collect their orc skulls they will definitely come in handy okay now we can set our spawn point with our bed you can also set the color for the bed as well so that's pretty nice we can set the spawn point so that's all sorted and we should be able to then complete some more of these quests so what we need to do is head over to the research station and we need to unlock automation 2 which takes 2500 and then 25 of the iron ingots as well so what we need to do first of all is we need to go ahead and get some smelters placed down so they basically take stone and coal ore so let's just double check and see how much stone we've got we will need some more stone so we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a couple of stacks of stones as four smelters should be plenty to start with okay so once you've got enough stone we want to build four smelters now the reason why you want to buy four smelters is for a little bit of extra coin to unlock the next research that we need for the blacksmith and also the portable ore drill so what we're going to do is we're going to use one of the smelters to get 20 iron ingots so we're just going to pop half of this coal in here and then it takes two iron ore to make one ingot so we need 50 all together so we're just going to half that and put that in and that should give us the requirements we need for that one but now if we head over to the king's quest board if we head into steamy factories we have a mission in here to make four smelters so that's why i do that because you get an extra 500 coin in there and we also get an extra 500 if we do 50 iron ingots as well so we could always just go ahead and do that if you need a little 
little bit of extra but you shouldn't need a little bit of extra because once once we have that 500 we have 2000 near enough 2200 so what we're going to do is go ahead and once we have the 25 ingots from here we're going to get this quest which will give us 500 coin which should give us the two and a half thousand we need for the next automation which is a portable ore drill and the blacksmith now while we're waiting for that iron to smelt what we can do is prepare ourselves for what we're going to need for the ore drills and the blacksmith now i do recommend doing two ore drills for the coal and then one each for the copper and the iron just to start with to help unlock the next one which is five thousand here it also gives us access to the iron tools which will give us a little bit more money as they're worth a little bit more than just normal iron so obviously we need iron cogs here for the ore drill which which won't unlock until we get the automation here so we're just going to prepare ourselves we're going to gather ourselves some more iron ore and some more copper as well while we wait so we're going to get a couple more stacks of each of those just for a while while we wait for these iron ingots to go ahead and smelt now another thing i highly recommend doing as well to start with is crafting yourself a storage chest now storage chest is handy early game craft yourself a couple of those because it will just enable you somewhere to put your gold coin and your other resource that you don't necessarily need like your orc skulls and that for now you can just pop them in here and keep them safe it also frees up some inventory space as well because you are going to need a fair bit of inventory space to gather the ore you need to start with so we'll just get rid of this goblin here and that should be good for now okay so now we have all of our iron that we probably need um we are going to gather ourselves some more coal and we're also going to get a couple of stacks of copper as well so in the meantime we have gone ahead and got our iron ingot smelting we need to get rid of these goblins that keep destroying our foundations kind of annoying to start with but you can easily deal with those and not too much of a worry so we're gonna place this one back down here make sure it's the right orientation okay so that one is all sorted so now we can go ahead and grab this out of here and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put one of these stacks of iron ore into here just to get this smelting in the meantime and um, we'll do the same for this one as well we'll just pop our 30 coal ore and we'll get a, another stack of iron ore smelting into there because we will need them so while we think about it we will go ahead and complete this one we'll put this gold into our chest here so that's perfect so now we can go ahead and we'll gather a little bit more coal and also a couple of stacks of copper in preparation for our next task so your 20 ruby ore so before we go any further what we want to do is head to the quest post and we want to clear some of these quests so we have it over to mining we should have enough to complete this quest here obviously we haven't got enough space in our inventory unfortunately so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put some of well we can eat this to increase our health level and what we can do is go ahead and put our orc skulls in there that we've also been collected and our gold so what we're going to do is complete this and that will give us 20 gold ore now this may sound like a really stupid thing to do but what I highly recommend doing is just smelting this gold ore and then selling it for a nice little bit of easy money. So what we can also do as well now we've collected our iron ingots is to collect this quest here for an extra 500 gold coins, which is pretty good. And then this one here is something we could aim towards if we wanted to, um, but I wouldn't do it just yet. So what I would do is just see how much um, funds you have. So we've got 3,500, which gives us plenty to unlock the next automation, which is this one here, which will give us the ore drill and also the blacksmith, which is going to be key for what we need next so we're going to go ahead and just grab our gold coins out of here so once we have our gold coin we can go ahead and unlock this next lot of automation just there so next task we have we want to build a couple of blacksmiths because as you can see for the next round of automation which is the one we're going for at the moment it's 5,000 here we also need some cogs and some iron plates now we're going to prepare ourselves a little bit for when we do unlock that automation we are going to start smelting some gold some iron ingots and some copper as well so at the moment we have 100 iron ingots so overall what we are going to need but I think we need to build for our starter is going to be 130 iron plates and 140 iron cogs now 
now they take if we go ahead and get the blacksmith built actually i can show it to you a little bit better so we are going to need 25 iron ingots so we're going to need 50 for two of these so we're going to go ahead and get these built so we're going to pop these down here for the moment just kind of out the way so we're going to pop one there and we're also going to pop another one here so now if we head to the blacksmith we can see that our iron plates and our iron cogs they each take two iron ingots each so we're going to need 270 of those all together so we're going to need around about 540 iron ingots so we'll go for 600 for argument's sake so next now we have unlocked it we can use the portable ore drill so we are going to need some copper ingots for that and also some iron cogs so we'll go ahead and get some iron cogs in production from this blacksmith so we only need five of those so we need just 10 iron ingots for this so we're going to go ahead and give ourselves 10 iron ingots there and also require some gold coin to auto produce those so with that our gold should now be smelted it only gives us gold 10 gold ingots so we're going to get those and we're just going to sell those for a little bit of money because now we can put that money and invest it into our blacksmith so we're going to go ahead and give these 250 each and we're also going to set him to iron plates so what we're going to do while we wait as well we're going to start smelting some more of the iron so we'll just do half of those for now we're also going to select this one to do the copper we're going to do a full stack of copper there and um, we're also getting attacked by a goblin again or oh, some skull soup nice that will keep us going for a little while so once these have done smelting we should have enough for our portable ore drills now these do take coal to run hence why we've still got quite a little bit of coal ready for when we need them so we're going to go ahead and grab these iron cogs now which as i said we do need five for each one so what we're going to do is we're going to do two for the coal and one for the copper and one for the iron as well so we need four in total so we are going to need quite a few more of the iron cogs so kind of miscalculated ever so slightly but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a full stack of iron so we need 20 of the cogs all together so if we pop this 40 iron in here that will give us 20 we'll have a couple left over but that doesn't really matter too much so first of all what we're going to do is just wait for another five here so we can do two of the drills we're going to wait for this copper as well we're going to need 20 of these ingots for two of them and also 20 of the iron as well so we are also going to need about 115 copper plates and about 30 copper pipes so if we kind of round that up a little bit we're going to need about 400 the copper ingots so we might as well get those going as well so we're going to go ahead and pop a full stack of coal and a full stack of copper into this smelter we're also going to do the same for this one and that will get that lot in production as well while we're building our first couple of the portable ore drills so we're going to take these and got some there these ones should be done very shortly okay so we're just waiting for our last copper ingot over here and there we go okay perfect so we can get our first two portable ore drills in production so we're going to head over here to our coal ore node and we're going to be utilizing this one over here so i'm going to grab our portable ore drill and we're just going to pop these just here so you will notice that they do take fuel as coal but you don't need to put a full stack in here all you need to do is put one coal ore in there toggle it on and as you will see it will kind of stock up its fuel first and then it will start doing the output as well so it depends on how much you want to speed up the process you can put a full stack in there and then it will automatically then start outputting it but i do recommend getting the coal ones done first just because they fill up themselves first of all so while they're producing us some more coal that we can use for our smelting process we're going to head back over to the base i'm going to grab the rest of our resources so we can start getting some other things into it, automatically producing so our iron cogs are all, all done we have enough for three more of the mines here now i would recommend actually changing the plan ever so slightly so i would put just one of the portable ore drills on the iron and then i'd put two on your copper now we have a copper ore node just around the corner around here so that's the one we're going to be utilizing so while the rest of your resources are producing we can go ahead and complete the rest of the beginning quest line so we can complete this one which was the blacksmith and the bed and this one here which was build a portable ore drill and obviously accumulate some coal as well we can complete both of them and that is all done you also unlock a nice little steam achievement there as well so that will give us a few bonus coins that we can go ahead and put into storage for now in preparation for the next unlock 
Okay, so now we have all the necessary resources we can get our ore drills down just to make things a little bit quicker. So we're going to put one on our iron and also don't forget to stock that full of coal and also toggle it on. And then we're going to head over to our copper ore deposit. We're going to get that one underway as well. And then from there, as I said, we just need to accumulate a whole load of resources. So you'll probably spend a little bit of time now running back and forwards from your drills to your smelters just to get the... 600 iron ingots you need and the 20 and the 300 copper ingots you need which then we can go ahead and transfer them into plates cogs and also the copper pipes as well so we go ahead and place our ore drills on our copper just here and we'll give them some fuel and we'll go ahead and wait for them to produce to get all the materials that we need for our first lot of automation i did mention we need copper plates and copper pipes now you need to unlock the automation 3 to access the plates and the pipe work before you can start making them at a blacksmith so you want to aim for first of all 25 cogs and 25 iron plates so you want to go ahead and smelt a hundred iron ingots to get the required resources for that so once that's done we can head over to the blacksmith and that's why i said have two blacksmiths so you can do one for the plates and one for the iron cogs and then by that time you should have accumulated 5,000 gold coin to unlock the next one if you are a little bit short on cash what you can do is go ahead and collect some more of the ruby or the sapphire things like that and just head over to the king's market and just sell them for a little bit of extra cash so once you've acquired your plates and your iron cogs as well just sort of in between having your resources and smelting them you want to head over to the research station and you want to unlock the automation three now once you unlock that you want to utilize your blacksmiths while you're gathering your iron as you are going to need a lot more iron than you are copper you should have have a fair few copper ingots at this moment in time so what you can do is you can go ahead and start getting your copper plates and your copper pipe work so your copper pipe work you'll need around about 30 but it won't hurt if you do any more so just put a full stack of copper ingots in there that will produce 50 of the copper pipe work and then for your copper plates you might as well wait until you've got a full stack of 100 but you will only need 115 of the copper plates so if you could put the 50 in there that will produce 25 of the plates and then you just need to when these blacksmiths have both completed put a stack in each and that will give you all of your copper plates and your copper pipe work you need and then you just want to focus on the iron plates and the iron cogs so you need 140 of the iron cogs which will be three lots of the blacksmith and then your iron plates as well which i would just do three lots of the blacksmith as well and then just make sure you have some copper ingots and some iron ingots left over which if you're following the calculations i made you should have extra left over and that'll just be for your pipe work and the little bit extra that you need for building the machines so if you get to a point like me where you have all the copper ore that you are going to need what you can do is head over to your copper ore vein you can dismantle the drills there and then put them over at your iron your copper does tend to mine a little bit quicker than the iron does so it's just a little bit easier and a bit more efficient to do it that way so what we can do is head over here we can switch the build mode to dismantle and we can dismantle those we can head over to our iron ore vein we can go ahead and put Put those two portable ore drills down we can give them some fuel so we'll just give those 50 of each for now until we've got some more coal so we can head over and grab some more and then we can get these all in production as well just to speed up the process a little bit more so we have got some extra copper ore so what i'll probably do is smelt those into copper ingots and we'll utilize them somewhere so with all of them tasks complete and us went on the way to preparing for full automation i think there would be a good place to leave this episode hopefully you found it very helpful on how to best get started in ore bound and then we'll start the next episode with all the resources we need for full automation and we'll go through how to set that up and the next steps so if you have found this video helpful make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe as well so you don't miss any more of the playthrough and the tips and tricks i have for you for all bound it's been kryptonite here thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next video